And this is a pre-recorded warning. This game contains scenes which may disturb you. It will be full of strange furry shit and fetishes such as transformation. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, hello, welcome to Changed. And as the pre-recorded warning would tell you, yes, this game is very strange. Uh, for you non-furries out there, uh, or new to the channel, and you're curious, and just simply, wait, Nico, what are you uploading? It's a weird game. I know because I looked into it before buying it, because I know it would probably get good views because barely anyone else has touched it. And to those new to my channel, I've also played a weird-as-fuck game called Nekomuse Potty Challenge, which was furry shit with, uh... Piss-related fetish. Probably fetish. You could say a piss-related kink, let's just say. Either way, but this is transformation fetish, which, by definition, if I had explained it before I get into the game, is simply by chemical or magical means, or by role-playing means, you're a character who gets transformed into a different species or character or animal by, again, chemical or magical means. And this game is called Changed. Because you're supposed to avoid, instead of dying, like, say, in the witch's house, where you have to avoid dying, and it's, it's avoid turning into a furry, a fucking furry degenerate. So, we're going from that. So, for the, for the furries, I'm sure you'll like this game, maybe find it weird anyways, but anyways, I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna try playing it. I might do more than just one episode, because, like I said, good views. So, let's get into it. My rant is over. The pre-recorded warning is gonna be on every single video, just so people know what the fuck they're getting into. That's the only, that's, that's it. That's the only warning. If you go any further, it's your fault. This game is not any, wait, this, what? This game will not give player any hints and in, initial, in, in, okay, it's just, yeah, that's, don't let me read it, you know, that's cool. Ah, uh, easy mode. Normal mode? I mean, it, what's the difference? I'm going to look it up and see if there's any difference, because it's like, if easy mode withholds endings, then, you know, I, 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 I want to know if there's a difference. Oh, apparently someone called this the Dark Souls experience for the TF community. I don't know how. Alright, apparently, through some of the responses from April, apparently the normal way is the way to go, or easy mode uh, only gets me the bad ending or something like that. So, let's just not waste any time and only do normal mode then. Normal mode it is. Normal mode is more challenging, but you're able to enjoy every part- Oh, wait. Oh, it doesn't let me go backwards, it just tells me- Wait, try to keep- Okay, now save slot? Okay, I'm, I'm so confused. It's a- Originally, it's like a Chinese game that's been imported- uh, ported to English translation. Which is why there could be some typos or whatnot, too. Your eyes can hardly open under the intense light, but you still made efforts to open your eyes and had a look at the situation now. Through your hazy eyes, you found out that you're in an unfamiliar room. Your limbs are feeling weak and your head is dizzy. And the most important thing is you feel you're starving like you didn't eat things about many years. Okay, so it's like you didn't eat for many years. You possess nothing but one little pair of shorts which showed up here with no reason. Obviously, you've been kidnapped. The last memory since your faint also proved this point. You, you've been kidnapped by someone and they brought you here. And th there's definitely English. Uh, English could be better, but I'll, I'll do my best to read it without uh, stuttering or, you know, giving my usual reaction. You feel very confused, but you clearly understand the first thing you should do is escape from this room. Alright, so you only have one choice for now. Let's start the adventure. And I got an achievement. And it's still in Chinese. That's fine enough. So, there's a lot of deaths in this game. All I remember is seeing a YouTube video of all death animations, or just all deaths. Or all transformations, which equate to deaths. So if I say all deaths, I really mean transformations. Is there's like 30 minutes of it. So, I'm gonna... How do I save? Escape? No. What is the... What? Stepping on that makes that noise? Seems like a machine controls the cabin next to it, but it's broken. Lots of dust on top, and no sign about people using it, but who shut it off? I want to know what the save function is, because if... It's like stepping on the liquid on the floor next to the vent shaft also makes noise. It's weird. 
dried unknown chemicals precipitates at the bottom of the test tubes, you're hungry as hell but raise no desire to eat this thing at all. Oh, well, at least I don't have an option. Don't know who put these notes here. Let's see. Do not have any body contact with them if you don't want to be one of them. Avoid them. I don't know the password of your cabin. I just hope that you can awake and look at the atten at look at this attention. Be safe, survivor. Is he talking about something dangerous? The handwriting of the note is messy, and from its content, it doesn't look like that it's written by the kidnappers. Suddenly, you hope this is just a spoof TV show. There are more notes in the second page. Clearly, it's another person's handwriting. Please remember to dispose of the liquid waste and clean up the sewer. Please do not drop any sticky objects, samples, or chemicals on the floor. Especially the samples. I see. So basically, yeah, they're warning you. Whatever the sticky shit, it's not semen. It's probably all transformation-related chemicals. The contents are mainly air and paper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So is there any way to die here? A sewer that can wash away the waste. Screen doesn't work anymore. Dust is all over the screen. Oh. Full of pipes and wires inside the walls. It is very deep and dark inside. Of course you can't climb in. Nothing happens. You're pretty sure that this really work makes nothing happen at all. Let's do it again. No? Are you, are you sure? Apparently nothing happens. What about this vent? He looked inside, given up the idea of climbing in. You heard sounds like dragging and slipping inside. It wouldn't be the good idea to stay close to it. Is this our first transformation weird shit? You can hear the sound of a crawl inside of a crawl. Crawling in my crawl! You, oh, 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 oh. Feel a bit scared. Oh, oh, oh. And I turned into a furry degenerate. Shit. Yep, yep. Marshmallow flavors. Old memories! Oh. <laughs> Give up! Okay, well, there's our first... See, it's not that bad of a, of a fetish. I mean, it's, it's not that weird as fuck. I mean, I mean, it sort of is, but, I mean, it's not like... It's not like gore or vor. But the whole thing would be, while I'm playing this game, I will want to fuck shit up as much as possible because I will want to put also a all death all transformation um, compilation as well so uh, let's just get this over with all right we're finally exiting the room took long enough locked you didn't find anything to open it oh shit uh, let's see. hmm I wouldn't want the goop to come in here unless I need the goop. I might need to make it so the goop comes down here, maybe. Let's move. It's probably coming in this direction. Is it? It says hold shift. Oh god. Yes! Yes! What's that? Is it some living milk pudding? Living milk pudding. Whatever this place is, it's not safe anymore. It's not the best time to be thinking about things like milk pudding, I would say. Hey! I can also shift run. That's good to know. Can I leave now? Locked. Oh, oh the vent's open, though. There's an emergency button inside. You try to put your hand in this vent with messy wires, pipes inside. Finally, you get the button. Excellent. Now, I have to find out. Uh, it's all messed up. It seems to be deserted uh, for a long time. Where are those kidnappers? It doesn't look like any human is active around this area. You shivered. You got a feeling that the adventure has just begun. Be begun? Or maybe you just are feeling cold. Haha, -ha, let's focus on finding ways to escape the building first. Is this like a save point, though? I, I really hope it is. You can put the password on the machine. Seems it's connected to the door to the right side of the corridor. Uh, I'm good, thanks. It's not the right... Yes, yeah, search for clues. I'd, I'd rather save the game, because apparently you don't want to approach the sharp edge of a broken cup. You're not wearing shoes now. Yes. What the fuck is this? A pile of noise garbage! How's it nice garbage? What does that mean? A what? Kerugated? Paper box made by... 
Crugated paper have a box shape. Some waste paper, glass pieces, and some CDs inside. Conclusion, a trash bin. You can use F12 to back, uh, to back to the main menu if you're tired of looking at events that repeats, but sometimes maybe you'll miss something. To go back to the main I want to save the game, not go back to the main menu. A strange machine, when you stand in front of it, it will scan your iris and make a record. Ah! <gasps> oh, a save! Thank God, now I can get myself, like, moited multiple times. This is trash bin too. Large paper box sealed with tape. Okay. I think I remember, though, seeing when I was looking at the game, one of these doors opening. No signs of it opening? I think maybe, like, by screwing up the password numerous times, I think it was. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. I swear the door just opened. Hmm. Maybe I was wrong. Alright, what about this door? Oh. Oh, another person's room. Come to... library. I wait you. I think it means library. Who left it? Library. The switch is covered with rust. You can't press it. You're wondering what the button can... to does. You're wondering what the button does. Okay. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Okay, that's... They don't, I don't need to see it from that perspective. And then they turn into a furry degenerate. The man in the picture was turned into a dog. If you hit that milk pudding... <laughs> the wording, stop. <laughs> Will you be like this? Oh my god. You don't know whose notes are. I gotta just... I, I really just gotta get into the habit of just like sort of translating it in my brain and stop just reading it wrong. Like I gotta read it right so you guys don't have to get confused or get tired of it. If we wish our civilization continues, we must change our genes. There's no other choice. Is it still in time? No matter how long... No matter how, as long as I can live. Even if I can't be human, it doesn't matter. The papers are on the back... Wait, what? The papers on the back are all terminology and chemical formula. It is... It really hurts your brain to read it. Even I can't be a human. Doesn't matter? Hmm. Old newspaper. It's all about the serious new flu report. The newspaper is very old and yellowed, but the date is very recent. You're a little surprised how long you've been kidnapped. So I'm guessing maybe the story is that there's a super flu going on, and people are trying to look for a way that people can transform your DNA to make it so we're resistant to the flu. With a little side order of furry degeneracy. Is there a slime in here? You better not look at oh, too bad. No, apparently no. Like the machine you have, it's a closed state, but it's covered in heavy dirt. I see. Pile of boxes. There's no dust in this hole, but the darkness always feels uneasy. Hmm. Well, nothing in this room, except for that kind of story. Well, let's check out this note. Some daily written on it. Some, some, some daily news? The experiment failed again so that I locked that room, but this time it's so close that it has almost blown up the whole building. I've manipulated the pattern of the ceramic tile on the floor. Bigger tiles are the important clue. The password of the storage room is hidden across the floor. I saw there are rats inside the storage room, so we brought a cat from the pet store, but yesterday we lost the cat after it ate our sample. Oh. There's something on top of the balcony. It looks like a wild cat, but how could a wild cat climb on a building like this? And all new subjects are not voluntary for the experiment. Here contains the five last of them. Subjects. I felt sorry to you guys, but for our plan for saving our civilization, we need you. We need you to... Well, you need to be sacrificed. Sacrificing someone's life is always better than risking the whole human's future. Right. Alright, well, what's in here? Oh, okay. Uh, that doesn't really work out for me now, does it? Like, unless they go in the... Do, can they maybe accidentally fall in the grate? Or Unfortunately, after entering the room, you're pushed by a large pile of slime on the door. The door has been blocked by latex. It seems that you're in danger already. These sticky creatures stick on your body. You feel itchy, like being wrapped in a fluffy blanket. There are some thorny feelings. 
Mucus is changing your skin cells, causing your sensory nerves to fail. You're tightly leaning against the f door, standing barely and not letting yourself fall. Those things are creeping up. Your lower body is unconscious, but you aren't in panic. This feeling is very comfortable. It's very relaxed. Naturally, your consciousness is a little bit off. Your legs stick with these the latex. You can feel these wonderful touches as the mucus supports your leg. And you seem to be eaten. The mucus spread across your body, but you are not afraid at all. You seem to know that these things will not hurt you. How convenient. After all, they are really gentle. You feel comfortable. It's not rape, because it's comfortable. Inadvertently, this mucus completely hangs over your body and covers your chest. Your legs are a little uncomfortable, but you can stand. And the white... Oh, this is like a long description of what's happened in the first level. Or the first room. The white liquid on the chest spreads out evenly. This layer of things slowly fluctuates with your breathing as if it were your body and your skin. And then pretty degenerate. Your face, your head, and even your hair were covered. You discovered that your legs had become... Bows? Bows. Your legs had become bows? Like animals. And your mouth seemed to be elongated. You clearly saw that you had grown a cute little nose. The feeling of cramps spread across your body, but it only lasted a little, uh, a little while because your bones were changing in this moment. You feel very comfortable, but confused, too. This is probably the effect of anesthet anesthetic toxins. You don't even have the feeling of being wrapped up in something. To describe that feeling, you are like an ice slowly melting in a water polo... Into the water polo? Okay. Your tail passes through your armpit... What? The tail made of latex is not so heavy, it's not so sticky. You picked up your fluffy tail... Glue tail? Maybe you will miss the time of your own tail? You cling to the fluffy tail that grows on your new body. You are a little happy. You can be like this. You do not know because of being parasites are you originally like this. You are full of joy and are satisfied with it. Your adventure probably stops there. Alrighty then. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are going to be weirded the fuck out and they'll just slam that dislike button. I'm going to end it right here. <laughs> I think I've had enough. i got a lot of games i got to play. So, if you really don't like this game and you find this weird as fuck, you don't have to watch part two because I'm sure I'll continue because it'll probably get decent views down the road. Because uh, furries and because my channel will attract those kinds of people too. Um, but yeah. Very strange game, as expected. I don't need. I hope they don't describe it in such a. It's like a. It's like a fan novel or fan fiction kind of thing. But either way, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit that bell notification down below for just updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Oh.